Transformers from Victoria, Australia. My name is Cav. I'm Zoe. And I'm Jonathan. And we're here at our robotics training centre. We, we will look in depth into our robot. This is our robot, Optimus Grime. Uh, this is our robot, Optimus Grime. As you can see, it's very skinny and reversed. We use this cool feature called the clutch. During our changeovers, we use these things on our attachments, so our attachments just plop onto the medium motors and are ready to go. Here, here is how it works. Now Jonathan will show you the light sensors. We have three light sensors on our robots. These two are used for uh, two sensor line follow, which we use in this mission over here. And these three all together in conjunction use to sense white, black, white, and terse line square. This is our first attachment. We really embraced the idea of trash check and reused some pieces on the board that we didn't need, like this bin here and the garbage dump there, to make the framework for our first attachment. The robot comes up and hits this red lever using this wheel. We also have a contingency just in case we don't get the vocals. It comes and sweeps it all up. We always have to mess around with the program to get the dress, just the right speed and timing. Here is how it works. This is the attachment for our next mission. Slots on just like the first one. This is a slot here for the octopus to go straight in. It collects the plastic bag with this thing here, and we also have a box to collect the compost. We use white, black, white here to reference the um, uh, robot on the board. This is how it works. The robot comes up, does this white, black, white sensing, puts the octopus in a circle, collects the plastic bag, pushes the compost and pushes the turtle back into the circle with the octopus. Then the turtle base ready to mission three. Oh. <laughs> this is our next attachment. On this side, we have the engine dropper, which releases the engine straight into the car. And on this side over here, we have this one-way door here. So the methane goes straight up and can't clear my hand anymore. We actually have a chicken decapitator here, which releases the chicken. Speaking of chickens, where's the chicken? <coughs> there it is. Here's how it works. When this chicken decapitator comes down, it releases this, um, this mechanism, which drags the compost box back to base. We also have this thing that drops the engine into the car. As this goes, it squares up with this line here, and then two sensor line follows along here. A two sensor line follows because two sensor line following is faster and more reliable than one sensor line follow. And here is an example of two sensor line following. The robot comes up, turns, squares up with this line, goes forward, turns once again, and two sensor line follows all the way to the wall where it squares up with the wall. This arm then drops, picking up the methane and dropping the regurgitated chicken. It then drops the engine into the car, collects the compost, and turns back to base. This is the mission that gets the toy out of the factory and it also whacks a person into the sorting area. We whack a person because it's faster. And it's pretty cool as well. We use this lever here to grab this. Here's a demonstration. This is 
Jonathan's mission. This attachment does all the missions on the further side of the board. It collects the truck, puts the methane in this box, collects this plastic bag, and collects the toy box using its one-way door. It does this mission using the walls as reference. Here's how it works. The robot comes up, turns, pushes the truck, senses white, black, white, puts its arm down, collects the plastic bag, puts the methane in the box, lifts its arm up, goes forward and collects the toy box with its one-way door, and the return is back to base with the truck. On its way back to the base, I'll put this methane in and get, um, get it ready for mission six. I'm going guys. Jonathan, out! Well, he's a bit of a weirdo, isn't he? Well, anyway, back to the mission. So, this is our famous sorting mission. So, we have all the blocks lined up at the top, and they go down this slide, down the east route, and get sorted. When we, would start, when we started doing this mission, we had some trouble. And then we read the rule book. And, th and the rule book said that the blocks had to be sorted using the east route. It never said that the wheel had to be spun. So, we made this contraption here. We also have the person inside there, so we have a... We have a leniency bonus. So if anything goes wrong here, we have a person to tap it and make it work. We also here have a truck pusher to get it past the black line. Whoa. Jonathan, we need your help. We need your help. Whoa, what's wrong? I think there's something broken. I just need to have a check. Oh, okay. What, what's wrong? That wasn't very nice. Now that we've finished our testing, it's time to run the mission. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching our, our video. video.